The term outburst refers to a sudden and strong release of expression of emotions, often in an intense and uncontrolled manner. It can be used to describe a display of anger or excitement, joy or laughter, or any other strong emotional reaction that is sudden and visible. An outburst is typically characterised by an immediate and forceful display of emotions that may be unexpected or exceed the usual level, level of emotional expression. So here are some example sentences using the word outburst. During the meeting, Tom had an unexpected outburst and started yelling at his colleagues. What was that all about? The child's tantrum turned into a full-blown outburst with screaming and kicking. Mary's outburst of anger frightened her friends who had never seen her lose her temper before. After hours of holding back her emotions, Fiona had an outburst of joy when she received the acceptance letter to her dream university. The athlete's outburst of frustration after losing the match led to a fine and suspension from future competitions. And finally, the CEO's outburst of excitement about the new product launch spread enthusiasm among the employees. The term get together is a commonly used phrase in English that refers to a social gathering or meeting of people for a specific purpose. It is often used to describe informal gatherings among family, friends or work colleagues. So here are six example sentences showing the use of get together. Let's plan a get together with our old schoolmates from school. It will be wonderful to see all those people we haven't seen for ages. I missed the family get together because I was stuck in traffic. Let's have a virtual get together over a Zoom call since we can't meet in person. We had a lovely get together at the beach complete with barbecue. I always enjoy our family get togethers at Christmas. It's mum's birthday this weekend. Let's have a family get together to celebrate it. Climb down. Climb down can have many different meanings, depending on the context. Here are three common interpretations. A literal descent or climb down from a higher point or elevation. Figuratively, it can refer to a reversal or retreat from a previously held position, opinion or decision. It can also indicate a change in attitude or behaviour, often involving a decrease in assertiveness or aggressiveness. Here are six example sentences using the phrase climb down in different contexts. The company had to climb down from its aggressive pricing strategy due to customer backlash. Realising his mistake, he climbed down from his arrogant position and apologised. The government was forced to climb down on the controversial policy after public process, protests. The manager climbed down from his strict rules and allowed for some flexibility in the workplace. The union had to climb down from its demand for a substantial pay rise in order to avoid a strike. The politician climbed down from his aggressive rhetoric and adopted a more conciliatory tone. Outset. Outset refers to the beginning or start of something, often used to indicate the initial stage or point in time of a process, event or a situation. Outset. Here are six examples of how to use outset in sentences. 
the decision was made at the outset to involve all the stakeholders in the process. From the very outset, he knew he was embarking on a challenging project. At the outset of the meeting, the chairman outlined the agenda. It was evident from the outset that the negotiations would be complex. He made a strong impression on everybody right from the outset. The novel captivates the reader from the very outset with its intriguing opening chapter, Crackdown. The term crackdown refers to a series of strict and forceful measures taken by the authorities to suppress or repress certain activities or behaviours that are considered illegal or undesirable. It involves intensified law enforcement actions or regulatory interventions to maintain order or address a particular issue. Here are six example sentences using the word crackdown. The government launched a crackdown on illegal drug trafficking. The regulatory agency conducted a crackdown on fraudulent financial practices. The police launched a crackdown on drink driving. The city implemented a crackdown on illegal parking. The authorities carried out a crackdown on online piracy. The government imposed a crackdown on hate speech and discrimination. Innocuous is an adjective that describes something as harmless, inoffensive or unlikely to cause harm or injury. It suggests a lack of danger, threat or negative impact. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of innocuous. The spider in the corner of the room was innocuous and proved no threat whatsoever. The comment he made during the meeting was innocuous and did not cause any offence. The toddler's innocent question was innocuous and merely sparked curiosity. The joke she told was innocuous and brought smiles to everyone's faces. The social media post was innocuous, meant to share a funny moment with friends. The small scratch on the car's bumper was innocuous and didn't require immediate repair. In these sentences, innocuous is used to describe things, actions, statements, substances or situations that are considered harmless and non-threatening and unlikely to cause any negative effects or consequences. Zest has multiple meanings, but its primary meaning is a noun that refers to great enthusiasm, energy or excitement. It conveys a lively and vigorous approach to life or a particular activity. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of zest. The dancer performed with zest, captivating the audience with her vibrant moves. The children played with zest in the park, laughing and running around with boundless energy. Sarah approached her studies with zest, eagerly diving into each subject and seeking knowledge. Despite the challenges, the team faced a competition with zest and determination. The athlete tackled the game with zest, giving it his all on the field and inspiring his teammates. The musician performed with zest captivating the audience with her dynamic stage presence. In these sentences, zest is used to describe the quality of enthusiasm, energy and excitement that individuals bring to various activities. 
zealous is an adjective that describes someone who is enthusiastic, passionate and ardently dedicated to a cause, belief or pursuit. It conveys a strong sense of fervor and active devotion. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of zealous. The young musician was zealous about mastering the violin and practiced for hours every day. The environmentalist was zealous in her efforts to protect the endangered species and their habitats. The coach's zealous encouragement motivated the team to give their best performance on the field. The teacher's zealous passion for teaching inspired her students to become lifelong learners. The entrepreneur's zealous determination to succeed drove her to work tirelessly on a business venture. The fans displayed their zealous support for their favourite sports team, cheering and chanting throughout the game. Quandary is a noun that refers to a state of uncertainty or perplexity, usually when facing a difficult or complicated decision or situation. It implies being stuck between two or more conflicting options or having difficulty determining the right course of action. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of quandary. Fiona found herself in a quandary when both job offers came with their own advantages and disadvantages. Dick's ethical dilemma left him in a moral quandary torn between honesty and loyalty. The parents were in a quandary about which school to choose for their child's education. Dick's decision to accept the promotion put him in a quandary as it required relocating his family. Fiona's quandary was whether to pursue her passion for art or choose a more stable career path. The board of directors found themselves in a quandary when deciding between the two highly qualified candidates for the CEO position. Pragmatic is an adjective that describes a practical approach or mindset that focuses on finding solutions or taking actions that are effective and feasible, rather than being driven by theoretical considerations or idealistic principles. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of pragmatic. Fiona took a pragmatic approach to problem solving, considering what would work best in the given situation. The company's CEO is known for her pragmatic decision-making style, weighing the practical implications of each choice. The politician proposed a pragmatic policy that aimed to address the immediate concerns of the citizens. In negotiations, a pragmatic approach often leads to mutually beneficial outcomes. Dick's pragmatic advice helped his friend navigate through a difficult personal situation. The company implemented pragmatic cost-cutting measures to improve its financial stability. Perseverance is a noun that refers to the quality of persisting in a course of action or pursuit despite facing difficulties, obstacles or setbacks. It implies a steadfast commitment, determination and resilience to achieve a goal or overcome challenges. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of perseverance. Despite numerous rejections, Fiona's perseverance led her to finally secure her dream job. 
The athlete's perseverance and rigorous training paid off when she won the gold medal. Dick's perseverance in learning a new language allowed him to become fluent over time. The entrepreneur's perseverance and unwavering belief in her business idea propelled her to success. The student's perseverance in studying for exams resulted in a remarkable academic achievements. The scientist's perseverance in conducting experiments eventually led to a groundbreaking discovery. Exemplary is an adjective that describes something or someone as serving as a positive example or model to be emulated. It implies that the person or thing possesses exceptional qualities or behaviour worthy of admiration or imitation. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of exemplary. The teacher's dedication and passion for education are exemplary. Fiona's leadership skills are exemplary. She motivates her team to excel. The athlete's work ethic and discipline are exemplary. She trains tirelessly. The police officer's bravery during the crisis was truly exemplary. The mayor's transparency and accountability in office have been exemplary. The chef's culinary skills are exemplary. Every dish is a masterpiece. Flawed refers to something that is imperfect or contains errors, faults or defects. It implies that there are inherent problems or weaknesses in the subject being described. When something is flawed, it means that it deviates from an ideal standard or falls short of expectations in some way. The flaws can be related to design, functionality, performance or other aspects of the subject such as flawed argument, flawed reasoning, flawed character, flawed system or a flawed product. Here are some examples using the word flawed. The study's methodology was flawed leading to inaccurate results. The flawed logic in her argument weakened her position in the debate. The flawed security measures left the building vulnerable to break-ins. The judge recognised the flawed evidence and dismissed the case. The flawed management decisions contributed to the company's financial decline. Her flawed decision-making skills often led to regrettable consequences. Outwardly refers to the external appearance, behaviour or manner that is observable or evident to others. It describes the way something or someone appears or behaves on the surface or in public. When something is described as outwardly, it implies that it is evident or noticeable to external observers without necessarily reflecting the true internal state, feelings or motives. It focuses on the external manifestations rather than the inner thoughts or emotions. Outwardly often contrasts with the internal or hidden aspects of a person or things. Example sentences using the word outwardly. She smiled outwardly, but inwardly she was feeling very sad. Despite his nervousness, he tried to appear outwardly confident during the presentation. The company's financial statements showed stability, stability outwardly, but internally they were struggling. Outwardly, their relationship seemed perfect, but behind closed doors there were many issues. 
He maintained a calm, outwardly demeanour, even though he was boiling with rage and anger inside. The organisation appeared outwardly united, but there were underlying divisions amongst the members. Compelling is an adjective that means evoking interest, attention or admiration in a powerful and convincing manner. It describes something that is persuasive, captivating or forceful in its impact. Maybe in argument, that it makes you feel certain that something is true or that you must do something about it. Six example sentences using the word compelling. The movie had a compelling storyline that kept me on the edge of my seat. Her speech was so compelling that it changed my perspective on the issue. The compelling performance by the actor left the audience in awe. The lawyer made a compelling argument that, sub that swayed the jury. The music had a compelling rhythm that made it impossible not to dance to it. The book's compelling narrative made it difficult to put it down. Attractive refers to something or someone that possesses qualities, characteristics or features that are appealing. Pleasing or desirable. It implies that the object or person elicits positive feelings or generates interest, admiration or attraction in others. When something or someone is described as attractive, it often suggests that they have qualities that are considered aesthetically pleasing, charming or captivating, leading others to find them appealing or desirable. Six example sentences using the word attractive. She's a talented and attractive actress who captivates audiences with her performance. The job offer comes with an attractive benefits and a competitive salary. The seaside resort has attractive beaches and breathtaking views, making it a popular tourist destination. She wore an attractive outfit that caught everyone's attention at the party. The company implemented attractive incentives to motivate employees and boost productivity. The scholarship programmes offer attractive opportunities for students to pursue their education without a financial burden. Add-on has different meanings depending on the context. In general, add-on means a product that is designed to be used with another product. Six examples of add-on. I bought a camera add-on that allows me to take underwater photos. I use a password manager add-on to keep my online account secure. I added a graphics card to my computer to improve gaming graphics. I subscribed to a streaming service and added the premium channels as an add-on. I got a GPS navigation add-on for my car to make it easier to find my way. I ran out of storage, so I purchased an add-on package to increase my cloud storage capacity. Diligent is an adjective that describes someone who is hardworking, thorough, and shows persistent effort in completing tasks or achieving goals. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of diligent. Fiona is a diligent student who always completes her assignments on time. Mark is a diligent employee who never hesitates to go the extra mile to meet deadlines. The diligent gardener meticulously tends to each plant in the garden. The lawyer's diligent preparations for the trial ensured, ensured a strong defence for his client. Despite facing obstacles, the athlete's diligent training paid off with a gold medal. 
The author's diligent research and attention to detail resulted in a well-written and informative book. Whimsical is an adjective that describes something or someone as fanciful, playful or unpredictable in an imaginative and often quirky or light-hearted way. It suggests a sense of spontaneity and whimsy, often associated with creativity and a departure from conventional thinking. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of whimsical. Sarah wore a whimsical hat adorned with feathers and flowers to the garden party. The author's whimsical storytelling captivated readers with its magical and unpredictable elements. The cafe was decorated in a whimsical style, featuring mismatched furniture and eclectic artwork. The film's whimsical soundtrack added a touch of enchantment to the romantic scenes. The fashion designer's collection featured whimsical and unconventional designs inspired by nature. The town's annual parade showcased whimsical floats, dancers and performers. Mitigate is a verb that means to reduce, lessen or make something less severe, harmful or painful. It involves taking actions to alleviate or moderate the impact or intensity of a situation. Here are six example sentences illustrating the use of mitigate. The city implemented measures to mitigate traffic congestion during peak hours. Dick took over-the-counter medication to mitigate his flu symptoms. The company installed a new security system to mitigate the risk of break-ins. Planting trees can help mitigate the effects of climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide. The school introduced anti-bullying programmes to mitigate instances of bullying. The construction company implemented safety protocols to mitigate workplace accidents. Convincing is an adjective that describes something that is persuasive, compelling or capable of causing someone to believe or be persuaded by a particular argument, evidence or reasoning. When something is convincing, it gives a strong impression of the truth or validity and is likely to sway or influence the opinions, beliefs or actions of others. Here are six examples of the use of convincing. The lawyer presented a convincing case to the jury providing strong evidence and logical arguments. The salesperson was very convincing and managed to persuade me to buy the product. Her presentation was filled with convincing statistics and real life examples, making her argument more persuasive. The documentary presented a convincing portrayal of the environmental impact of deforestation. Despite initial doubts, the team's performance was highly convincing, winning over the sceptics. Did you find his excuse about missing the bus convincing? Superficially refers to something that is done or understood on a surface level without delving into deeper or underlying aspects. It indicates a focus on external appearances or surface characteristics, rather than a thorough examination or underlying understanding of the subject matter. Example sentences using the word superficially. Although the report appeared thorough, it only superficially covered the main issues. He seemed confident and well prepared, but upon closer examination, his knowledge was only superficially acquired. The article provided a superficially positive view of the company's performance, but the underlying financial problems were not addressed. The new policy changes were superficially implemented without considering the long-term impact on employees. 
The student answered the question superficially, demonstrating a lack of in-depth understanding. A book's cover superficially hinted at a thrilling plot, but the story turned out to be disappointingly shallow. Cheap gimmick is a colloquial expression used to describe something that is seen as a deceptive or superficial tactic or strategy. It refers to a ploy or device employed to attract attention, manipulate or deceive people in a way that is considered low quality, insincere or lacking in substance. The term cheap is in this context conveys a sense of something being of low value or lacking authenticity. Gimmick refers to a clever or unconventional technique or trick often used to promote a market something, but without genuine substance or long-term effectiveness. The company's advertisement promised a revolutionary product, but it turned out to be a cheap gimmick to attract customers. The politician's sudden change of stance right before the election was seen as a cheap gimmick to win votes. The movie relied on cheap gimmicks such as excessive special effects instead of a well-developed plot or interesting characters. The pop star's controversial behaviour was viewed by many as a cheap gimmick to gain media attention. The website claimed to offer incredible deals, but it was just a cheap gimmick to get people to sign up for some expensive subscription. It's just a cheap gimmick to get you into the shop. Mixer can have a few different meanings depending on the context. Here are the two most common definitions of mix-up. Confusion or disorder. In this sense, mix-up refers to a state of disorder, confusion or chaos. It can describe a situation where things are jumbled or muddled, leading to a lack of clarity in order. For example, if someone says there's been a mix-up, they are indicating that there has been a mistake or confusion that has caused disarray or disorder. Mistake or error. Mix-up can also refer to a mistake or error, particularly one that involves confusion or interchange of things or information. It implies that something has been unintentionally or mistakenly mixed or confused. For example, if someone says there was a mix-up with the uh, reservations, it means there was an error or confusion in the booking process. Example sentences showcasing various uses of the word mix-up. Fiona had a mix-up in her schedule and missed the most important meeting. We had a mix-up at the restaurant and they bought us the wrong order. There was a mix-up at the dry cleaners and they gave me someone else's clothes. The delivery driver had a mix-up and delivered the package to the wrong address. I'm sorry for the mix-up with the hotel reservations. We'll make sure to fix it. The files on my computer got mixed up and it took me a while to sort them out. Cracking has multiple meanings depending on the context in which it is used. Here are two common meanings. Cracking as an adjective, in informal language, cracking is often used as an adjective to describe something as exceptionally good, impressive or exciting. It can be used to express enthusiasm or appreciation for a positive experience or outcome. The usage is more common in British English. Example sentences using the word cracking. The cracking sound of thunder echoed through the valley during the storm. She let out a cracking laugh when she heard the funny joke. 
The comedian delivered a cracking performance that had the whole audience in stitches. He's a cracking football player, scoring goals left and right and centre. The detective solved the case with some cracking investigation. The company achieved cracking sales numbers, uh, surpassing all expectations.